I want y'all to share this video to all those single women who's been waiting and waiting and waiting to get married. What? They ain't gonna like me today. They ain't. I say just about anything. <laughs> Come on in here, single women. I know y'all in here. I know you are in here because you saw that thumbnail. And most likely, most of y'all want to be married. You want a husband. You want a spouse. You want somebody to help you in life. You want to have kids. But your man. Your so-called man that you dating or you living with for years and years and years without a ring, without asking, will you marry me? You've been sitting there just waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. And you're also sitting there pretending like, oh, child, I don't have to be married. Married is just a, you know, a piece of paper being married. It's just only a piece of paper. When really and truly you lying to yourself. Most women that I know, okay, want to be married. They want to at least experience it before they die. But some of y'all been with these guys for over 10 and 20 years, ain't never been married. And you just settled. That's what that is, y'all. You settling for less. You don't think about yourself, okay? You have all these kids for this man, and he still won't marry you. You give him all the sex that he wants, and he still won't marry you. You just sit back and take it. You are afraid to even mention it anymore because you think he's going to leave you because you want to be married. Well, what am I supposed to do? I don't want him to leave me and start dating. Some well, that's what they usually do, y'all. Okay? Sooner or later, he's going to move on to someone else. And you don't spend all those years with him. Thinking that just maybe one day he's just going to pop the question. Just one day he just might take you to the courthouse and surprise you to get married. Just one day just hoping and praying that this man do right by you. Well, I got a video I'm going to show you of this young lady. Y'all, let me tell you something. She's on point with what she's saying. Now, if this is your first time here, make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe, okay? Do that for me and watch the entire video because that helps me out in the algorithm. And go to cookingwithsandrafay.com. I cook wonderful meals over there. And not only that, now you can buy me a coffee. Buymeacoffee.com slash Sandra Fay. That's Fay, F-A-Y, okay? Moving right along. I love coffee. I'm going to play this video for y'all. And y'all tell me if this young lady is right, okay? I saw this and I was like, oh my God. And you probably also saying to yourself, girl, what happened to the political videos? You're not doing, but, well, you know what, y'all? I'm going to have to revamp this channel because if I don't, I'm going to get cut. And I'm sick of talking about politics because it does something to my spirit with what's going on in this world today, okay? I got to start talking about other things than just politics. But right now, I'm talking to the single women, okay? The single women who want to get married and who lie to themselves like they don't want to be mad, but really and truly they want to, okay? They lie to their friends. They lie to their parents. They even lie to the guy that they staying with or dating. They lie to them too. Listen to this lady right here on being married. 
Was she so right you guys or say wrong? marriage is just a piece of paper and you believe it. Well, I'm here to tell you that marriage is not just a piece of paper, so stop fooling yourself like that. Marriage is to be held high honor. Marriage is a blessing that has been given to us from the most high. Therefore, stop trying to justify why your dude won't marry you and accept the fact that God said when a man finds himself a wife, he finds a good thing. Therefore, if your guy is having difficulties marrying you, that's because your guy don't feel he has found a good thing in you, but more so a convenient thing. So when your guy say marriage is just a piece of paper so it's money but he gets up and go to work every day for that paper dollar you know why because he values that paper dollar which means he doesn't value you sis god is not going to rewrite the bible for this new misguided generation stop trying to change scripture when scripture was written to change you i don't care what generation we are in old rules still applies when it comes to healthy love healthy dating healthy relationships any comments you have regarding this post no need to message me go take it up with the lord be smart be smart, because you don't want to mess with me. That's what she said. <laughs> oh, I love that lady right here. <laughs> Let me tell you something. She ain't lying, though. She ain't lying. She said marriage is not just a piece of paper. That's what a lot of women do. They fool themselves. Oh, it's just a piece of paper. It's showing that you are committed, y'all. He don't want to get that piece of paper on you. He don't want it because he's afraid. A lot of men are afraid. I'm going to get divorced and she's going to get half, half of everything. Well, you know what? It applies to women too, okay? You get half of the women's stuff too, especially if, you know, they the breadwinner. They get half and you a stay-at-home dad. I ain't never understood that part myself, you know. Man's supposed to get out there and work for his family. A man's supposed to do that. But now today, they don't do that, y'all. The women sit back and take care of the men because they don't want to sit home with the babies. That's what that is, y'all. They want to be out there in the workforce. And then a lot of people say, oh, San Fe, everybody don't want to be married. Everybody don't want to be married. I am talking to the people who do. Dummy, I'm talking to the women who've been sitting there forever and ever and ever want to be married, but they can't get married because their man don't value them, okay, enough to marry them. They don't love them, okay, like they love other things in their life. Because if they did, they would marry you, okay. You wouldn't be waiting four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten years, twenty sometimes. Then they give you a ring and they think that's going to satisfy you. It satisfies some women, but it wouldn't satisfy me. To me, if you giving me a ring, you asking me to marry you, to be your fiance, oh, that wedding's going to be planned within a year. One year, the most, maybe two. That's about it, okay? I'm not sitting back waiting on you to marry me just because you gave me a ring. I'm supposed to be yours. She also says when a man finds himself a wife, he finds himself a good thing. So I guess you're not a good thing to him. You can't be. You're not a good thing. you just there for convenience. Okay? Convenience. Do you understand, women? Don't get me wrong, people. I'm not saying maybe the guy don't have feelings for you women. I'm not saying that. Maybe he does like you. Maybe he loves you in a certain way. But you know what, though? He don't love you enough to marry you. You're convenient. You help him pay the bills. Okay? He don't have to struggle by himself. He got you. And not only that, sex, any time he wants. Maybe not any time, but most of the time. Because if you ain't having sex with him, okay, you know what men do? They go find it somewhere else. Now, I'm saying all of this stuff, y'all, but you know what, though? This can even apply to men, okay? You have some women who don't want to get married, you know? But right now, I'm talking about the women who want to get married. 
but can't because their man refused. He don't see any point in it. It's no point in it for you, though. I'm talking about the man. You. But what about me? So now you got to ask yourself, though, how long are you going to sit up and take this? How long is too long to want to be married and to have children? You got one life to live, y'all. One. And shouldn't you live that life the way that you want to live it? The way that you expect to live your life? But you're going to sit back and allow a man, talk to the women, to dictate your life because you're afraid you might lose him? That might be a good thing if you do lose him, okay? Sometimes a man or person don't see what they have until it's gone for good. I know that from experience, okay? My ex found out the hard way, okay? You cannot sit there and allow someone to walk all over you, okay? You going to all these parties and functions and vacations and you seeing these married couples and you are not married. You invited to weddings. Heck, you're in the wedding, but you can't never be the bride. And you know deep down inside you want to be married, but you holding back for this man who you say you love, who really doesn't love you. He loves me. He does a lot of things for me. Just because he does a lot of things for you doesn't mean he loves you, okay? He does it because he knows that he at least got to try to keep you. Okay? It ain't got nothing to do with love. Because if he loved you so much to the bone, y'all, he would marry you. I'm going to tell you something. She also said, God is not going to rewrite the Bible for all this new misguided generation. They believe in shacking. They believe in not getting married. They believe in things that we would never believe back in my day, okay? Because they have no fear of God. God did not meant for this to be so, okay? Man and woman were put together so they can procreate, so they can have companionship. How oh, we can procreate, procreate without being married? And we can be companions without being married, without a piece of paper. We can do all of that. That's the way they think right now. Okay. Can you imagine what the future is going to be? No one is going to be married. No one. Let me tell you something, women. Now, if you're sitting by waiting on this man to marry you, it ain't going to happen. And if he does decide to marry you, if he does because he feel like he's been forced because you're going to leave him, that's not a good thing either. He needs to come to you and ask, okay, for real, for real, on his own, without you telling him. A man picks his wife, y'all. That's what the Bible said, okay? You don't run around chasing a man, okay, trying to make him marry you. You don't do that, okay? Let him choose you. Okay, stop chasing these men. They love to chase. They love it. Men play games too, just like women do. Don't think they don't. They play games. So stop chasing these men, okay? Consider yourself to be better than that, okay? I hate when women do that. They don't value themselves. They begging and crying and whining because the man won't marry them. They're going to their family members. Why he won't marry them? Don't go to his family, Okay? Don't do that. Love yourself better than you love him, okay? You got to do that. Love God yourself, okay? Don't do that, all right? You look foolish. You look stupid. Tell me what y'all think. Tell me. Tell me, y'all. Okay, do you think I'm right? Do you think I'm right about some of these women? Put it on down there. Put it down there because I want to hear it. And in the meantime, go check out 
my other videos right here. Do that for me. All right? Yeah.